The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. Okay, now that we've got the three parts drawn in 3D, we've got the base, the cleat, and the cleat pin, we just need to figure out the assembly here. So the easiest thing to do is just to draw a line and actually snap to the center. We're going to turn on our ortho. F8 is also the ortho, ortho command. And I'm just going to draw a line straight up here. So we've got some hardware that needs to go in here. I'm going to go to the Insert tab. And under Insert, we actually give you several blocks that are drawn already in 3D. So I'm going to go to the hex head screw. And I'm going to insert that. It straight up. I didn't bring my line far up enough to snap to it, so I'm just going to use my O-Track. I've got that in the perfect place. And the next thing that I'm going to insert is the washer. I'm holding it by the center, so I'm just going to click my washer into place. Actually, I think I'm going to do my shift right click and go nearest, and that way I can definitely put it on this line, but I'm not going to have to be locked into an endpoint or a midpoint there. I'm going to delete out that line. I'm actually going to draw another line coming straight through down the bottom. So from the center, going straight down. And this time I'm going to insert that washer again. I'll go nearest. And I'm going to insert that hex head nut. Put that right there, and you can see it's a threaded nut. That looks good. So now I'm going to draw a line from the center here all the way out here. And for that, I'm going to move that cleat pin because that's where the cleat pin plugs in. Pick it up from the center point, snap it to there. And now I just need to figure out where to place that cleat. So I'm going to draw a line coming straight up. I'm going to take it back a little bit, straight up again, and I'm going to do the move command. Pick this one up by the center point, snap it down, and that looks really good. I'm, the reason I kind of moved it back and over a little bit was so that it wouldn't be on top of that hex cap screw. Now that I've got all of this drawn, I can actually even change these guys to be on the phantom layer if I need them to be. So let's come home. Oops. Go into my layers. And do I have a phantom? Let's, let's turn that phantom layer on. And then set these lines to be on that phantom layer because they're good lines to have. It shows us how these line up with each other. And this one, we can actually even pick that up from his endpoint and snap it all the way up to the center here. And that just shows how this all lines up as one piece. So this looks great. I've got my assembly. I'm going to come over here to the assembly layout. I'm going to double click inside of here. And now I'm going to turn on, I had turned off a bunch of layers, so I'm going to turn on my, um, let's see what layers do I need. I'm going to pan over so that I'm viewing these guys. I'm going to pull this down and put myself into that same southeast isometric view. We're going to find a viewport scale that works. Hopefully, one to two looks good. Go ahead and lock that viewport. You can set it into um, conceptual. And I'm going to find out which border, which layer my border is on. So I'm actually going to click on this button to turn all layers on. And we can see what layer this is. So in paper space, that's on the PS notes layer. So I'm going to undo and then just come over here and turn on PS notes all 
right, now that I've got my assembly lined up the way that I need it to be, I'm going to click over here to my assembly layout. And I don't see anything in here, and that's because this viewport is not zoomed into wherever in space I have that, that 3D drawing done. So I'm just going to zoom into here so that I can see the parts. I'm going to set myself into an isometric view. I don't want it to look like a wireframe, so I'm going to put it into conceptual. That looks really good. We need to set the scale for it. I'm going to pull this down, and I'm going to set it to 1 to 2. Ooh, 1 to 2 looks good. Perfect. If 1 to 2 doesn't work for you, you might need to move your parts a little bit closer together. And if you do that, be sure and remember to have your ortho on when you do that. So I've locked my viewport at 1 to 2. I'm in model space right now. I need to get into paper space. And I'm going to fill out revisions. I'm going to fill out the title block. And then you also need to um, put in some bubbles. So let's go to the PS Notes layer. And we're going to go under Annotate. And I'm going to set the balloon um, multiliter style current. And then I can just do multiliters here. So I'm going to do this, pull it out. And this is part number two. Do the cleat. The cleat is part number three. I'm going to do the base. And that base is part number one. I'm going to do this. This guy, the washer, is part number six. Or I'm sorry, that's not the washer, that's the hex nut, is part number six. I mean, five. Uh, this guy, part number six, you are the washer. Repeat for this one. This one is also part number six. And then that hex cap screw is part number four. Now you'll come in here and fill out your title block, fill out your parts list the same way that you did the other one, and you have just completed a 3D mechanical assembly. Good job.